I'm just staring at the darker sky. I've got ink over there. Whoa, whoa, don't put that white on there. You don't want to use white. I do. No, you yes. don't. <laughs> I like the white. It came out just the way I wanted. <laughs> Looking good, Charles. Right. You enjoying it, or do you yeah, dislike the Luan? No, no, this is all right. I guess I'm the only complainer. <laughs> no, we all complain. <laughs> you know what would be interesting? What's that? To shellac or paint or all of these things so that they don't chip. Would that work? Just no. just inside the ones that would. Well, I don't think I don't think the shellac adds a significant amount of okay. anti-chipping strength to yeah. these. Oh, things. okay. You mean shellac them before you cut them? No, but just the, the the places that you that you want to leave to do something. That the shellac will make those areas less absorbent, uh, so they. So they don't print as strongly. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you're, you're, you're maybe solving one problem. People do do that. Another. Well, it just makes it print more delicately. Yeah. On this block, the the trick is to use a sharp tool and kind of go boldly and not, because there's so much texture in the grain, so mm -hmm. much open grain. No, you don't have to worry too much about fine details. They'll, uh, you know, a, a finely scalloped sure. edge is going to get lost in. Yeah. In all the open grain anyway. Are you leaving it in the water? Okay. No. Almost. I just, it lines a little bit smaller than it probably should be. Is there any tricks to getting, I had a lot of trouble with splitting when I was doing the Kento. Yeah, that's hard. That's pretty good. I, both those will work very well. Okay. So just nice job. Just deal with it. Unidentified paper, a Japanese. didn't put color there, but it seems like I don't know. pretty consistently. What do you think? Night sky. <laughs> it's looking really good. What about in, in the detail? Is it I deep enough? It's fine, yeah. yeah. Can yeah, I go to the other side? Nice. Yeah, you can carve your oh, yeah, so I carve those textures, ones. yeah. prevents a splitting of the wood. Yeah, it's probably a sharp tool. Still printing white? Printing all white. In fact, the whole thing's going to be white. You come, by, go this. <laughs> you come by this naturally. naturally. <laughs> I see Stonehenge in there. Yes. I see grass. Well, something. Cool. Good job. So what's new? Here we are, Thursday evening, five something. Charles, still carving, carving. Have you? Do you have the kento on that block yet? Have you carved your kento? Uh, not yet. I think I would not carve any more until you get the kento on, because it's going to be difficult to line everything up otherwise. Okay. All right. But you are looking so good, and I'm excited about your print. 
And I think you'll find the little footprints you made me carve actually will show up like It's going to be probably the, the high point of it. And because the, the look and everything else, and you see that, I mean, it's good, but it's big and all the Look at the delicate and the way they and the, and, and She's a little not neat, you can tell the way. Anyhow, it's going to be great. Cool. Uh oh. These are nice. I don't know that they show up in a movie, but. I like the little one. Yeah, I do rather like that one, except for that big white mass in the middle, which I can't. I'm going to have to carve another block. Whole white mass. It may just. I mean, the, the, the light mass, which in the well, other ones is broken up vertically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I'm kind of afraid to touch it because I like that one. I still don't know what's going to happen when I put that color down. I can't see the color on the block. You're doing good. And I have no idea what what's going to come up on the paper. I mean, printmaking is always kind of like that, but this is real. Yeah, mysterious. you look at that and go, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's so out of control. <laughs> no, you're doing great. The nice thing about this is you have no idea I'm even here with those goggles, right? I didn't realize. I thought someone was here on my right hand side. Someone is. <laughs> and then I forgot that. So? Are you showing and telling? Come on, Simone, tell us about it. Is this going to be a blog on Farm? It's in a movie. Looks I don't cool know where camera. we'll put it, but it'll have sound. <laughs> looks good on camera? Yeah, on camera it looks good. I hate those oil inks. I'm a lazy cleaner-upper. That's why I love this, because I don't have to wash my brushes. Oh, a sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> but she does have to wash her brushes, you know? Have to wash her brushes. Well, eventually. But if you don't, they won't get wrecked. That's why I paint watercolors. Because I can leave my stuff all over, and you know, the next day I can come back to it. All my mud is still there. I can just re-wet it. Uh, oil painting, I would be a disaster. <laughs>